हे एवरीबडी दिस इज जैद एंड वेलकम बैक टू नो एरो वी आर बैक विद द सिक्स लेक्चर ऑन एमरजेंसी लोकेटर ट्रांसमीटर इन आर एयरक्राफ्ट रेडियो एंड कम्युनिकेशन एंड नेविगेशन सीरीज सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ ई एल टी ऑपरेट्स इट्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑपरेटिंग फ्रीक्वेंसीज एंड इट्स टाइप्स सो लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड an elt stands for emergency locator transmitter which is an independent battery powered transmitter activated by excessive g forces experienced during an aircraft crash icao defines an emergency locator transmitter as an equipment which broadcast distinctive signals on designed frequencies and depending on applications may be automatically activated by impact or be manually activated A suitably configured ELT is an integral component of the international satellite system for search and rescue which when activated manually or automatically by immersion in water or as a result of high g force on impact ELT transmit a distress signal which can be detected by non geostationary satellites and then located precisely by either or both of the GPS triliteration and Doppler triangulation so an elt may take any of the following forms automatic fixed elt which is an automatically activated elt and is permanently attached to the aircraft automatic portable elt is also an automatically activated elt but is rigidly attached to the aircraft and readily removable from the aircraft automatic deployable elt is an elt which is rigidly attached to an aircraft and is automatically deployed and activated by impact but also in some cases it is also deployed by hydrostatic sensors and yes manual deployment capability is also provided and lastly survivable elt is an elt which is removable from an aircraft and is stored to facilitate its ready to use in emergency or manually activated by the survivors now there are two types of satellites orbiting the earth low earth orbiting and geostationary satellites which are used with different complementary capabilities the signal is partially processed and stored in these satellites and then relayed to the ground stations known as local user terminals further deciphering of the signal takes place at the local user terminals and appropriate search and rescue operations are notified through mission control centers which are set up for this purpose the signal is received anywhere in the world by satellites in this cosmos sarsat which translates to space system for search of vessels in distress search and rescue satellite aided tracking the elt transmit digital signals every 50 seconds in omni direction at 406.025 megahertz at 5 watts for at least 24 hours it also transmit analog signal at 121.5 megahertz and 243 megahertz the standard frequency of modern elt is 406 megahertz while the first form of the elt beacon was 121.5 megahertz whereas 243 megahertz has long been the medical emergency frequency therefore 406 is now being used for satellite detection and location of the distressed watercraft aircraft people and 121.5 frequency is still an emergency frequency and is monitored by overlying aircraft and control towers now there are several bases on which the elt beacon operates number 1 gps based the 406 beacon with the gps track has a precision of 100 meter in 70% of the world closest to the equator so the responsible authority can look up to and notify the registrant in 4 minutes however the rescue cannot begin until the doppler track is available because one or more gps tracks are not sufficient thus another high precision operation which is an intermediate technology has a worldwide coverage and locates within 2 kilometers and notifies in 2 hours maximum both of these types of beacon usually include an auxiliary 25 megawatt beacon at 121.5 to guide the rescue aircraft number 3 traditional elt which is the oldest and the cheapest beacon that sends an anonymous wobble at 121.5 megahertz 
These signals could be detected by the satellite over only 60% of the earth and requires up to 6 hours of notification which can locate within 20 kilometers. And lastly, the location by Doppler processing was made possible by the Cosmos Sarset and it can be located more precisely saving the search time. So, the modern 406 MHz beacons are accurate to 2 parts per billion giving the search area of only 2 square kilometers. So the emergency beacon operating on 406 MHz transmit a unique 15, 22 or 30 characteristic serial number also known as hex code. When the beacon is purchased, the hex code should be registered with the relevant national or international authority. After one of the mission control centers has detected the signal, this registration information is passed to the rescue coordination center which then provides the appropriate search and rescue agency with crucial information. So I hope that you find this video informative and if you have any doubt ask in the comment section. Hit the like button and do share it with your friends.